everybody, this is Kevin, and welcome back to another anime review. And today I'm going to share my thoughts on episode 21 of Digimon Ghost Game, which, you know, the main criticism of the series so far has been that it's Mosh of the Week and episodic, and it still holds true with this episode, but in the last episode, and then again in this episode, we've actually seen characters die. And prior to that, I think it was only episode 13 where we saw Bokumon die, and then that villainous Digimon got killed by Gullisgaamon, and... That's been a major complaint because, you know, in other series we've seen death, whether it be, like, other Digimon or other characters or whatever. But this one, you know, the villainous Digimon cause all sorts of problems for the world, and then our heroes just sort of let him go because, oh, we didn't mean to cause any harm. Especially in the last episode, man, because those two, they, they burned a person alive. And it's like, oh, here here's the world to get back to the digital world. It's fine. We'll forgive you. I mean, what the hell? They should have paid a, a, a heftier price than that. But um, what I liked about this one was... We got a returning villain from Adventure Zero Two, which in the sub they, they call her Archnamon, which I always thought she was called Arachnamon, but I don't fucking know. Maybe it's just a translation or a dub name, and basically Arachnamon because she's a giant spider and also an ultimate level Digimon. Um, and then at the end of the episode, which I'll, I'll get to later, but we, we see like a cameo from Gargamon, which is the evolution of Terriermon from Tamers. And I guess Terriermon, isn't he in uh, the movie too? He was Willis's partner. Uh, so we saw that, and also the return of Gullus Gamamon. So a lot of crazy stuff in this episode, and it really starts with a bang with Arachnamon luring these people. Well, the people aren't be really being lured there, but they're they're in this building and they're you know constructing stuff, and they see the spider webs, and Arachnamon shows up, and, and you, you, there's some really cursed imagery here, but like creepy creepy looks from the, the spider chick, and. She fucking eats them, man. She, like, she wraps them up in, in her webs and bites their heads off. And, and you see, like, one of the other characters later, once Hero and the gang, you know, find her nest of all the other people, uh, you know, wrapped up in, in the spider webs. And he's like, no, they ate the guy's head off. She bit his head off right there. So this chick, you know, we can see her eat one person, but you can only assume she's killed more and bites the head off. And the sound effects of, like, the crunching and you hear... Arachnamon, uh, like, she makes these clicking sounds, and it's, it's, it's fucking, it's pretty scary, dude. If I was watching this as a, as a kid, I'd, <laughs> I'd be freaked out. And mind you, I watched this late Saturday night, so, you know, I was home alone <laughs> watching this, like, oh, shit, I'm hearing noises in the background getting all, like, spooked out, but, um, some good stuff. I'm gonna show you all the tabs I have up, because there's a lot to get to, especially the return of Gullus Gamon. Overall, I'll just say before I get to more info, uh, I really did like the episode, but again, the ending is it, just, it's strange. They should do two-parters to sort of flesh these things out, especially, like, going back to Gullus Gammon. The only time we saw him was episode 13, and then, you know, he reverted back to normal. It, it would have been a lot better if maybe they, they kept him as Gullus Gammon, and he disappeared from the group for a while, or even th they did that at the end of this episode. But, you know, it's Monster of the Week, uh, <laughs> new story for, for each episode, so what are you going to do? So here's Arachnamon, right? Uh, she's an ultimate level and, of course, appeared in Zero Two and also appeared as a human in Zero Two, similar to how she does here. And, you know, some people, <laughs> I saw some people making posts like, God damn, she's hot. I mean, I don't know, <laughs> not really, but some people think she's hot. Some, some people think she's hot in the spider form, which I don't really understand that. But, um, you know, she appears in the human form and sort of lures Hero uh she says she's a friend of Hero's mother and lures him to eat his brain. <laughs> it's like, holy shit, dude. And then she has some minions, the Doku Gumon, which are these other creepy spider dudes. Uh, they're only champion levels. But they also appear in the original series as well. And they're henchmen of Myotismon, if I remember correctly. So it was cool seeing them. And there are some cool battles with... Uh, specifically with Kiyoshiro and Jellymon. You know, Jellymon and Digivolves to Tesla Jellymon. And they're, they're kicking ass. And <laughs> at first, Kiyoshiro's like, ah, the spiders! And he's like running away like a man, man. And, and Jellymon's jabbing at him like, oh, darling, you're so cowardly. So here's one of the cursed images from the very beginning. Uh, I can't really zoom in that much. But I mean, holy shit, dude. You, you sort of hear like her laughter in the distance. And then you see like this. And it zooms in. And she fucking eats the dude <laughs> like she eats the dude's head off like obviously you don't see his head come off or blood or anything because the children's show but just the sound effects and the screaming and the fact that you know after so many episodes of really no death or consequences we're, we're getting characters to die now granted they are like npc human characters so it doesn't it doesn't mean shit 
But um, <laughs> it, it's still pretty cool that they're doing that. So, you know, she appears in her human form and, and lures Hero to her lair and is like, oh, you know, your, your mother and I are great friends, so come with me. <laughs> like, okay, I never met this woman in my life, but I'll come with her, stranger danger. And, you know, she gets the whole group there and starts, like, complimenting everybody, like how smart Kiyoshiro is and, and uh, Roly and all of them. And then she starts, like, touching Gamma and, like, oh, I wonder what your brain tastes like. <laughs> and that's when they're like, wait, you wonder what our brain tastes like? What are you talking about, woman? So she turns into the spider form and <laughs> it spooks everyone out. And it's like, damn, dude. Like I said, if I, if I was a kid watching this, and I'm sure the children that are watching this are definitely freaked out by it, but... Like the clicks and the cackling she's doing, definitely pretty pretty spooky. And uh, then she's she basically because they escape, she goes to her lair and she has all, all the string and all these cameras set up in the warehouse so she can watch what's going on. And that's when she sends the Doku Gumon here. These guys, uh, I guess that's the best picture I can get of them. But <laughs> sends all them. There, there has to be like hundreds of them, and they're they're battling. And uh, that's when Hero comes across, you know, the the other humans there and and. The quote right here. It ate Takimi Kun and Tamuna Kun's head. <laughs> it's it's biting people's heads off and wants to feast on everyone's brains. So yeah, people are dying. Uh, they end up capturing everybody. And <laughs> like, wait a minute, how is Ed Gorman so skinny? <laughs> I thought he was like this big fat guy, all fluffy, but apparently, apparently not. So, uh, like Kiyoshiro and, and Tesla Jelly want to get some of the, the most kills, getting rid of the the Doku Gumon and, you know, doing like the peace sign and all that, you know, like rocking. So some good stuff right there. So then eventually what happens is Hiro and Gamon, you know, Gamon turns into uh, Wezen Gamon and, and we established in the last episode that he can turn into different forms at will. He turns into Chaos Gamamon, or I think they call it Kaos Gamamon, you know, the one that flies and then Betel Gamamon. And Gamon gets gets beat up and, and turns back to his normal form and then finally undergoes a, a new transformation where you see his eyes turn black and it, it it's not the same like evolution music that we've, we've heard like the upbeat music it's like a darker theme which I think we heard that back in 13 episode 13 and Digivolves into Gullus Gamamon so um Arachnamon's like, oh, what's this? A new evolution. This brain will taste even better. So, like, we get some badass shots of him. And he, he puts his fist in her mouth and says, eat all you want. And you see, like, an explosion, and he, he kills her. So, that's just that. And I, I question, like, how he's able to do that just because she's an ultimate and he's a champion. But maybe because he's a, he's a dark evolution, it makes him more powerful. Or maybe it is his ultimate form. I'm not really too sure. But definitely a badass scene and just looking like a... You know, he, he digivolves with a cape. I mean, how badass is that? So, Hero's trying to talk to Gullus Gamon, like, oh, is it really you, Gamon? And then he, he says, not yet. And he turns back to Gamon, and of course, Gamon doesn't remember. But I, I question that ending just because when he was Gullus Gamon back in episode 13, he was trying to kill all the kids. He was trying to kill K uh, Kiyoshiro, Roly, and Hero. And here he just says, oh, not yet. And he turns back to normal at will. When. Last time we saw him, he was trying to kill all the kids, too. So, I feel like they could have kept him as Gullus Gamon. He could wreak havoc for a few episodes, but uh, that's not the, the direction they're going. So, as it ends, we, we see uh, Gargamon here, which is the evolution of Terriermon, looking on the distance. And he's, he's a dark evolution. And this makes me think back to episode 13 as well, where we actually saw a dark Agumon looking on. So, what are all these dark evolutions? What, what does that mean? I'm sure we'll find out. So, of course, uh, I guess it's Galgamon. I thought it was Gargamon, but... You know, there he is. So you know him from uh, the movie and from Tamers with, uh, uh, you know, that series. So anyway, I really enjoyed this episode. The ending, you know, not so much. I love seeing Ghost Gamon return. I love that, but I just didn't really like how he's just like, oh, not yet. He turns back to normal when he, he could have stayed as Ghost Gamon, but... <laughs> That's just beating a dead horse at this point. Overall, if you're watching this series week to week, I think you can find entertainment out of it. Uh, I've enjoyed the last two episodes quite a bit. I like how it's sort of getting darker now. I mean, you were kind of promised that. Um, next week, they're actually skipping next week's episode for some reason. I, I saw online, they have the synopsis for the next three episodes. I saw it on the, on the 4chan thread. And Clockmon and Mummymon are going to return. And it sounds like the, in one of the synopsis, they name another human character and they give him a first and last name. So I wonder if there'll be a new tamer. 
that's interesting to see if that happens. But uh, they're they're going on hiatus for next week. I don't know why, but you know, no, no episode next week. So I'll be back with uh, a review the following week. And until then, uh, this video is going up Tuesday, so that means uh, I don't even know what I'm posting Wednesday. But I'm going to be live Thursday of Kingdom Hearts, and then again on Saturday. So stay tuned for those live streams. Uh, I'll figure something out for Wednesday. So let's look out for more videos. And also my review of Shenmue Episode 5. So let me know what you guys thought of this episode in the comments down below. And stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Have a great day, everybody.